Hey everyone, thank you for tuning back into the Wild Energy YouTube channel. I just want to start off the video by saying thank you to the subscribers we've got so far. I think we're at about eight or nine so far. Uh, so when we started this, we didn't really expect to really uh, get too many views, but uh, we're really excited about how many views we've got and the subscribers so far. So thank you uh, again for that. Uh, so this is technically our fifth week update of this simple hydroponic system here. Uh, I'm going to go through each uh, container really quick uh, and then kind of let you know what we're going to test uh, going forward from here. Uh, so first off, uh, I just completed the, um, <clears throat> I just completed uh, cleaning out the system. I replaced all the water uh, and uh, it took me about 20 minutes. So that's pretty, pretty good for cleaning out a hydroponic system. Usually it can be pretty, um, pretty time consuming. So uh, it took me about 20 minutes. I just took out all the water. I took each bottle off, uh, placed the plants in this uh, separate container here, just for the time being, placed the water, uh, put new fresh tap water in there, put a, uh, and, uh, a tablespoon of nutrients for the for the containers that have the nutrients and uh so yeah it was really simple and uh so we're excited to see how the plants react to that over the next week i think that'll do pretty well uh so first off the control here uh, as you can see it really hasn't grown much further from where it's been uh, I, I counted the leaves the other day um we're at about 14 leaves so we started with 11 now we have 14, so it really hasn't done anything much over the last uh, five weeks now. The roots, uh, they look pretty healthy, but um, you know it's not getting any nutrients, so the plant isn't really growing or progressing at all. Uh, again, these are wildflower seeds, so uh, if this was a healthy plant, you'd see a lot more leaves and possibly the start of some flowers. Um, <clears throat> okay, so our second container here this is the one that has just the nutrients, so no oxygen, no air bubbles at all. Uh, the plant is doing pretty darn well, actually. Um, it's a pretty hefty plant here. And if you look here, uh, it's going to be hard to tell in the video, but there is a flower bud. Um, it seems like it's coming in pretty slowly, but I think it'll probably uh, mature over the next uh, two weeks. So this plant has been doing pretty good. Uh, as you can see, there's two different plants in there like I talked about before. It's went from uh, 13 leaves to 57 now. So it's really seen a good amount of growth over the last five weeks. So again, that's the one with just the nutrients. Okay, so then if you come back here, this is the one that has just the oxygen. There, it's got the air bubbles. Uh, the plant, as you can see, it's experiencing a lot of stress. There's really... Uh, not many healthy leaves on this plant and the, the roots look really weak uh, so that's what happens when you have no nutrients in the hydroponic system oh, yeah, I did want to show you the, the roots of this one this one is really nice healthy thick roots here um, really nice looking roots so um, <clears throat> So that one is, a, is doing pretty well. The one with just the air bubbles is not. Uh, then we go over to this one. This one has the nutrients and the air bubbles. Um, as you can see, this, this uh, plant is doing really, really well. Um, it's went from, in the start, it had nine leaves. Now it's up to 90 leaves, nine zero. Uh, last week it had 45 leaves. So after one week, it doubled in the number of leaves. Um, I'm guessing that we're going to see some flowers come up in here. I'm not too familiar with this wildflower, but I'm pretty sure that we'll see them over the next two weeks, I'm sure. So we'll keep you updated with that. Uh, here's the roots for this one. Um, not quite as thick as the one with just the nutrients, but really nice healthy roots there too. So it's got oxygen, it's got its nutrients, it's got everything it needs. So plant doesn't really have the need for like a huge root system it's got everything in there Hold on a second. all 
Okay, so sorry, it was kind of tough to get those roots back in there. Over here we've got our cilantro plant going. It's still going really, really well as you can see. Um, it's, it's a beautiful looking plant here, so uh, definitely if I were planning on using the cilantro, I could definitely cut it up and start using it. Uh, the roots are really healthy here too. They look pretty strong. They've got, in this one I've got both the oxygen and the nutrients. This was kind of just, I was just playing around and wanted to see how cilantro would do hydroponically. And uh, as you can see, really well. So uh, we're really excited to see how that uh, matured and it smells great. It smells like really nice fresh cilantro in here. All right, so um, I told you before that we were thinking about doing something with basil. Uh, I've got still got the little baby plants here. I really need to give them some nutrients so they can start growing. But uh, what I'm gonna do is um, is do four containers uh, with basil plants in each of them, and then uh, two of them are gonna have the nutrients and the oxygen, and then two of them are gonna have just the nutrients. So we'll be able to see how the oxygen really truly affects uh, the basil. Uh, as you can see here with our wildflowers, um, the difference between having oxygen or not doesn't really seem to be a huge effect. Uh, we've got some really healthy plants here with the one without oxygen and with the one with oxygen. So it'll be fun to see how oxygen really affects uh, the basal growth. And it'll be a little easier to measure the progress since we're using the same plant. You know, over here we just did the wildflowers, which is just something fun to do and I'm excited to see the flowers come out soon. So, all right, so uh, that's it. And, uh, you know, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, again, you know, thank you for subscribing, those of you who did, and I hope you appreciate uh, the videos and we'll keep doing what we're doing and, and keep growing. So, thank you.